doing it. I'd like to show you how to considerably increase the conclusiveness of your AG501 measurement data. This does not require any modification of your AG501. This simple bite plan can enhance your AG501 measurement data in such a way that it provides considerably more information for scientific analyses. I'm going to show you the enhanced results before going into detail on the functional principle. Here you can see the recorded speech movements of the word mi, ma, mu. The movement of the articulators leave these colored traces. With the axis faded in, you can see the movement in relation to the coordinate system. The 3D impression is even improved when the display is rotated a little. Up here you see the status display, which we will consider later. Originally, data for speech movements is displayed in reference to a coordinate system which is defined by the transmitter coils of the AG501. Thus, what we see is how the articulators move in reference to the AG501, which is what it's meant to do. It measures how the sensors move within the field of measurement. With bite plane and head correction, it is now possible to display all traces in reference to the head. The head correction normally processes measurement data in such a way that the head movements are frozen at a random point. To achieve this, reference sensors are placed at the mastoid portions of the face as these portions do not move during speech. To view speech movements in relation to the head instead of the AG501, we now use this bite plane. With this bite plane, we only have one single alteration. Instead of freezing the head movements at a random point, this is done at an advantageous point. This means the head is placed in a precisely defined position. Additionally to speech movements, contours in relation to these speech movements can be recorded and displayed. Here you see the palette as a defined contour. Right hand side at the beginning of the contour is the transition from the soft to the hard palette. Left hand side the contour ends with the profile of the, of the upper front teeth. With this defined contour, you can now see how the speech movements run in relation to the structures of the head. Besides the palate, other human body structures can be displayed as well. Here you see the profile from the hairline to the upper lip. And here you see the movement traces of the lower jaw and the occlusal plane. Here you see the recorded speech movements for the word mi, ma, mu with all those four contours. We will now turn to how the bite plane is used. The bite plane is placed in mouth like this. Here three sensors are located. Note that the sensors are outside the mouth area and thus need not to be sterilized. Here is a stop for the upper front teeth. When the bite plane is in the subject's mouth, this midline has to be aligned with the mid-sagittal plane. The head is then measured by means of these three sensors within a short sweep recording. Following this, with a few mouse clicks, adjust the head correction so that the head is correctly displayed in the coordinate system during the real-time recording. By using the bike plane, you acquire additional information. We now know that the tip of the upper front teeth are located at this point, at the point of origin of the coordinate system. The bite plane is now identical with the XY axis in the display. Thus, in this palette profile, every point is equally far away from the XY axis as it is from the bite plane. Through the enhanced information acquired via the bite plane, tilt and positioning of the palette can be displayed relative to the head profile. The defined contour is positioned in the mid sagittal plane. Now we'll show you how to record the contours. Ines has a sensor glued to her thumb. 
and pos positions the sensor in the middle of the pellet at the transition from the hard to the soft pellet. Now she guides the sensor along the pellet and around the front teeth. This gives us the profile of the pellet, the back end of the pellet and the front teeth as a reference for the body of the subject. By turning the display so that we see it parallel to the XZ axis, we can see that the contour is located in the mid sagittal plane. Here you see how well the pellet contour goes along with the mid sagittal plane, and this has even room for further improvement if you locate the middle of the mouth before recording. Now the profile from the hairline to the upper lip is recorded. Ines applies the sensor to her index finger and moves from the hairline down to the tip of the nose and further to the upper lip. Now we record the movement line of the lower jaw. Ines places the sensor on her finger between the lower front teeth, opens the mouth and closes it again, which results in this curve. Here you see how the occlusal plane is recorded as a contour. Ines places the sensor at her thumb again and moves along the teeth of the upper jaw. Finally, I would like to point to control of data quality for AG500 and AG501 measurements. The record program has a status display which makes a plausibility check based on real-time processing. These circles indicate the current, the quality of the current and of the previously recorded data. The heads indicate the quality of the head correction respectively. Symbols can be green, yellow or orange. Green means data quality is good. Yellow means this is a warning, data quality is marginal. Red means this is an error, please check the measurement range or the sensor. As an example, we now see Ines how she is going along the pallet. However, as you see here, the head symbol turns red, yellow and green. This means that during some movements, the reference sensor still moves in relation to the head. In this sweep, the movement of the reference sensor itself is visible. Hopefully you allow yourself to be convinced by the enhanced measurement quality achieved with the bike plane. For further interesting videos on the AG501, just Google AG501 on YouTube and you'll find some interesting videos also provided by other researchers working with the AG501. Until then, thank you very much for your attention.